Hi, this is a quick video on an exciting future-proof enhancement released by OSMC for the Vero V. Less than a month ago on OSMC forum, I had inquired about support for Dolby Vision Profile 10, which is still a very new format. It's basically AV1 with Dolby Vision inside it. The response was that it was already working in internal test builds, and now we have the first forum release of a test build that supports both Dolby Vision Profile 10 as well as AV1 with HDR10+. I'm going to put both to the test in a bit. By the way, if you want samples of both formats, just head on over to Cody's AV Wiki. As mentioned in the forum post, the general stable version of this test build will be available to all Vero V users shortly. First, let me show you what happens with the current stable version of OSMC on Vero V. Starting with Adobe Vision Profile 10 sample. This is playing in standard HDR10. Now testing an HDR10 plus AV1 sample. You brought a friend this time. Yeah, this is Nate. Hey there, Nate. What can I get you? Oh, you know, just, uh, just a milkshake, please. So you can see that this one, too, is playing in standard HDR10. Sandwiches? Uh, nah. I'm good. Okay. Um, uh, sandwiches? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Please tell me that you're not out of the cherry pie. Now I'm going to apply the test build update from the forum post that I shared earlier. You just SSH into your Vero V using PuTTY or a similar tool, and then just copy paste the commands as instructed. This took a little bit of time, so let me speed through this for the purpose of this video. Vero V is now rebooting and we're going to go there after it's done to test those files again. First, let's try the Adobe Vision Profile 10 video. Yes, excellent. So Dolby Vision is playing back properly in AV1. So DV Profile 10 is now working. I re-encoded the sample clip myself using Handbrake, and the picture quality looks gorgeous, almost indistinguishable from the original 4K Blu-ray. Finally, testing HDR10 Plus in AV1. So you brought a friend this time? Yeah, this is Nate. Hey there, Nate. What can I get you? Oh, you know, just, uh, just a milkshake, please. The vanilla milkshake. And terrific. HDR10 Plus is also working in AV1. One final test, this is to see if dynamic metadata is being passed through AV1. Again, HDR10 Plus is properly triggered. You might have noticed that contrast increase there. and the decreased brightness there. So both Dolby Vision Profile 10 and HDR10 Plus inside AV1 are working perfectly fine, and this future proofs the Vero V. Congrats, OSMC development team.